हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू शुभ रंजन आई एस माय नेम इज शुभांशु जयसवाल एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट आर डेली करंट अफेयर्स प्रैक्टिस नाउ लेट्स सी द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टुडे द क्वेश्चन इज कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू नाविक और द इंडियन रीजनल नेविगेशन सैटेलाइट सिस्टम एंड द स्टेटमेंट्स आर इट इज एन एटोनमस रीजनल सैटेलाइट नेविगेशन सिस्टम दैट प्रोवाइड्स एक्यूरेट रियल टाइम पोजिशनिंग एंड टाइमिंग सर्विसेस सो ये दिस स्टेटमेंट इज एक्चुअली टेलिंग यू वॉट नाविक is okay so this navic is our own positioning and timing service just like we use gps so it is actually an alternative to gps because gps is your us based system and you can understand that here gps is being controlled by us and we do not need to depend on anyone for our civilian or any other purpose that is why isro has generated they have worked upon and they have established this system which is indian regional navigation satellite system and later in the year 2018 it was named as navic by our prime minister narendra modi fine navic navigation with indian constellation constellation you understand group of stars so here what is actually continuation uh, constellation signifying constellation here is signifying the group of satellites fine so there are seven satellites which are being used in this particular system fine we'll see as we go ahead it covers india and a region extending 5000 km around it so yes it covers india definitely india ko cover nahi karegi to hum banaya kyun humne and a region extending 5000 km around it this is problematic this is incorrect because currently the capacity is this 5 1500 km from the borders fine so yes we are having the intention and we are working to expand it further but as of now this digit is not correct now it is primarily used for military purpose and is not available for civilian use now this is also incorrect because we want to work we want to use this system for both military as well as civilian purpose and obviously the civilian use is more you we have to do you know regular vehicle checking we have to do the uh, weather forecasting we can use it for uh, uh, disaster management so there are number of uses here fine now so here two statements are incorrect and question is asking which of the following is incorrect so the right answer would be this option number 2 fine let's see few more things about this navic now you can see in the infographic just a small idea that this as as said before that the set the system is using combination the constellation of seven satellites now there are two terms used here very important for you geo set stationary earth orbit geosynchronous orbit fine you understand orbit it is the fixed path around the planets fine for example the moon moves in the fixed orbit around the earth the earth moves in the fixed orbit around the sun correct so similarly satellites also move we launch them purposefully strategically in the fixed orbit and depending upon this orbit there are two categories of orbit and the satellite resultingly fine what more is there it is an alternative to american gps these are the things fine now why it is here because recently it has you know highlighted in the news because yesterday only when apple has launched iphone uh, 15 they have said that this iphone 15 this product is going to incorporate and support india's navigation system that is navic so this support is welcomed here and that is why it becomes important right navic has already been asked in your upsc prelims and mains exam however it may come again so just understand the concept thoroughly fine now uh, we discussed the two terms geo stationary and geo synchronous term look carefully what is happening suppose if from earth here you are standing and here you launch a rocket rocket comes here somehow here fine and as the earth is revolving let's say ek 
at one point of time you will come here then here then here and if this satellite is also moving as you are coming here 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 so from earth you will see this satellite as stationary so such an arrangement such an orbit where you launch a satellite and it appears to be stationary from earth will be called geostationary satellite break it geo earth stationary means not moving fine and here there is another term geosynchronous again break it geo as an earth synchronous synchronous you understand ke saath saath kuch ho raha hai saath saath move ho raha hai in relation to fine so what is happening here here the similar thing is happening however just imagine this way that if the orbit is like this fine and you are again standing here after a while you will standing you will be here after a while here however the satellite is moving with the same speed but the direction here is now this so you will observe satellite moving in a different direction and will not be stationary anymore fine so such concept is called such satellites which move in such an orbit this orbit is called geosynchronous orbit and satellite moving in this is called geosynchronous satellite fine understand one thing here very important that geo satellite uh, geo stationary satellite is nothing but a special type of special type of geo synchronous satellite only because if you have this orbit here similarly you can have here or here but what is special about geo stationary if you place this orbit right above the equator fine can you see here you have earth's equator fine just above earth's equator if you place this orbit and if you place a satellite here then that geo synchronous satellite moving in this orbit will become geo stationary satellite i hope it clears the concept to you fine so just you can give it a reading later on let's move ahead so these are the things which we have discussed so far fine the satellite is having two special system the the system this navic is having two special services standard position service for civilians use and restricted service for strategic uses in this comes your military etc fine so number of uses military operation civilian use application in agriculture transportation disaster management and so on again application of uh, technology is one of the favorite areas of upsc fine now let's go ahead and see what kind of questions have been asked now this question was asked in your year 2018 in your prelims irnss has three satellites in geostationary and four in geosynchronous orbit as discussed this is correct statement it covers entire india about 5500 square kilometer again the same statement the figure here is incorrect it should be 1500 india will have its own satellite navigation system with full global coverage by middle of 2019 we are currently in 2023 and you know that even now we are largely dependent on this that means this statement has not been fulfilled so only correct statement would be option a fine now you can see the similar question has been asked in your mains as well why is indian regional navigation satellite system irnss needed how does it help in navigation so you can imagine to what extent these uh, technology which are developed in india can be important fine very favorite areas of upsc now question number 2 is consider the following statement with respect to bandipur tiger reserve statement 1 is saying it is located at tri junction area of karnataka tamil nadu and kerala so yes this is special thing about this particular tiger reserve that it is located in the tri junction of these three states fine very important geography fine the park has a variety of biomes including dry deciduous forest moist deciduous forest and shrublands so as we discussed yesterday and you can see it here here you have what confluence of western ghats and eastern ghats very rich biodiversity is here and here you also have 
Nilgiri Biosphere Reserve and this Tiger Reserve is under this Biosphere Reserve only and because monsoon also enters in India from here and because of their geography there is variety of rainfall received here and because of variety of rainfall there is variety of vegetation or variety of biomes here fine so this statement is correct the Nugu river runs through the park yes this is also correct so the third option would be correct all of the above fine now so tiger reserves not just the asked one asked in the question but near around the other tiger reserve of wildlife century in the region are also important so you can see as i said western ghats pe hi ye located hai in the confluence of western ghats and eastern ghats fine and here you can see you have bandipur then if you move towards southward you have mudu malai national park and if you go further south then you have periyar national park there are other as well fine for example in southwest southwest is here if you come in this direction you will have vayanad wildlife century fine so these are the things you need to keep in mind just give a one reading right after this watching this video we'll upload these pdf in the link form in the video description you can just click on the link and you will be able to download the pdfs of these fine so why it is here because it was in the news regarding uh authorities they have act given a direction to act against the illegal cottages in the economic eco sensitive zones of this tiger reserve fine rest of the things we have already discussed let's go ahead let's have a look at next question consider the following statements with respect to libya number one libya has a long coastline along the mediterranean sea to the north now yes this statement is correct we have already discussed this in the previous video that there are these countries m a l e t these are from african continent morocco algeria libya egypt tunisia you can remember them with this monomic mallet they are having access to mediterranean sea in the north now second the libyan desert also known as saharan desert covers the entire northern part of the country now yes this is statement libyan part and the libyan desert which is also known as sahara desert yes it is covering libya in fact most of it but not entirely so this entire word is creating problem and the statement becomes incorrect now the third statement is the capital city of libya tripoli is located in the eastern part of the country now again the statement is incorrect because tripoli is actually located in the western part of libya hence the only correct statement here is statement number one so the correct option would be this fine now why we are discussing because recently very unfortunate and very sad thing happened there there has been heavy flooding there in libya fine you can have a look at the map this is morocco algeria libya egypt and this small state is tunisia fine and we also discussed this is small state this is state in between which is connecting you know atlantic to mediterranean sea this is state of gibraltar fine so these are the things which are mentioned here you can just have a reading fine and this region is maghreb region in northern africa fine now so that's all for today i hope today's concepts they have been bit exhaustive bit comprehensive but i'm very sure they will be helpful when you prepare for upsc prelims uh, for more such content you can subscribe to our channel you can share our videos with your friends as well this will help you and them as well and just in case if you have any doubt you can just write it down in our comment section we'll help you out thank you for watching have a good day